Hello friends, so today we are solving another cognition question. So let's go to the description part. So first of all, I minimize my face screen. I think this much is quite enough. So here is the description of the question we are going to solve today. So the Shambhu wants the magic board which will display a character for the corresponding number in his science project. So Shambhu wants a science project in which uh, a number display the character. So number is going to display a character. So for example, when a digit like 65, 66, 67, and 68, this four number. If this four number is displayed, then uh, this number going to represent four other character A, B, C, D. So when the digit like 65, 66, 67, and 68 are entered, then the alphabet A, B, C, and D will be display. Will be display. Assume the number of input should be always four. So the input is always four. So here to understand this whole description description more easily, so let's go to the sample input. Here the sample input is enter the digit. So a person entering the digit is 65, 66, 67, and 68. So the sample output is in this manner. So 65 representing A, 66 is representing B, 67 is representing C, and 68 is representing D. Now sample input 2. Sample input 2 is showing. Uh, sample 2, uh, sample input 2 is uh, showing enter the digit. So four corresponding numbers are representing on the screen. Uh, 115, 100, 116, 101 and 112 so 115 116 101 and 112 so sample input for this particular uh, output is for 115 s is representing and remember that this is small smallest you can see that for 116 small t is representing for 101 small e is representing and for 112 small p is representing so so most of people are uh, thinking about how this alphabet is assigning to a particular number so this number is assigned on the basis of on the basis of a sky code so let's let's go to the chrome so that you can understand that so okay so here the syntax is so we are going to use chr function so uh, so chr function is going to use in this particular uh, in to solve this particular problem so there is a description for this okay okay the same thing okay i think to understand this so python chr function example here we are going to use python chr method to get the string of unicode so so the thing the thing here is every single alphabet is assigning a unicode universally every single alphabet is assigning with a unicode as you know that uh, computers are unable to understand alphabet they can only understand numbers 0 and 1 so on the basis of this every single alphabet is, is assigning by a 0 1 unicode and that is 0 1 unicode is uh, representing by a number so for a 67 or 65 a unicode is assigned and that same unicode is assigned for an alphabet so if whenever an alphabet is entered by your keyboard then that particular alphabet is converting into unicode and that particular unicode is assigned in the form of 0 and 1 so that your laptop can understand that particular character this is how the, the whole things work so that's why uh, here we are a is unicode of 65 so or, or we can say that a is unicode is 65 okay b unicode is 66 and c unicode is 67 and d unicode is 68 and always remember that 65 is written in or understand by computer on the basis of 0 1 0 whatever the uh, binary value for 65 okay i hope you are able to understand that uh, understand the requirement here so how are we going to do to so how, what are we going to do to solve this particular problem so we are going to use a predefined function in python so i think let's go to ideally so the code for this particular problem is also very small so we are going to complete it in just 500 okay good okay good uh, control a backspace this is the last execution we have completed so let's see the input and output description for input enter the digit uh, what is going, uh, line is going to print control c Control V. I'm going to put it into X. X is equal to uh, input. Input. Okay, input. I'm going to use split function to split on the basis of space. Split. So X is X is going to be a list who who is who is storing all the four values on the basis of space. So I'm going to give here split on the basis of space. So to understand this more easily, let's print x so that we can easily tackle with each and every integer value. So now if I copy the out, uh, copy the input here, control C, window F5, enter, control V. Now I have uh, passed the passed all the four values that should need to be passed on this particular code. So now each and every value is acting as list in a x1, x list. Now each and every value is acting as a member in a list named x. Okay, 
65, 66, 67, 68. Okay, fine. Now what I need to do? I'm going to just iterate. Okay, this is a small piece of code for this. For i in x. Now I have to do print. Now first of all, let's see how they printed. They have printed in the format of this. So I need to uh, I need to do it in this format. So I create another list y, which will store the value. This is an empty list. So I will do y dot append. Append is written right. A double p and t. So, okay, y dot append. The number is i. So i i is of integer type because x is storing integer value of string type. So okay, okay, fine. i plus I need a this symbol here. This this symbol. I need this symbol. I think this symbol is present here. So this symbol is present between 65 and 8. Okay, I dot this. Now I need chr plus plus chr i'm using chr function i'm putting value i now i think this is fine now if i print y what will be happen what is going to happen so y now um window f5 enter in last control v this is present so what it is saying str object cannot be interpreted as an integer uh, okay okay i think here is the issue i think this str object cannot be interpreted as an integer line 4 okay fine okay fine i think this value is not giving me an str str let's do this no okay, okay i think issue is here this is this is considered as str i'm type casting i so that addition is possible So window f5 enter control v enter okay i think let's type past this str okay window f5 enter control v enter so str object cannot be interpreted as an integer line 4 line 4 0 1 2 3 4 why do depend this let's 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 find out what the issue is i think we have to do it hit and try method so print print uh, chr i but what is going to be let's find out into f5 enter control v enter so it is saying str object cannot be okay 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 i got it the issue is control that control that control that control that okay here is the issue i got it control that control that so now i have to remove str here the third thing is we are facing the issue that in chr we have to pass integer first of all we have to type past here so that uh, if 65, 65 number is in course, we have to convert into integer. So that 65 is passed in CHR. Here, the uh, type of string is not required. It, this is all, already in a uh, string. This, I made it into a string and CHR produces the value in string. So window F5, enter. There is extra or what is this thing was never closed. Okay, good. It's never closed. Fine. Window F5, enter. Control V, enter. Okay, control V. Window F5, enter, control V, enter. So now the value is printing according to us. So now what I need to do? I need to represent in a way I want. So simply best thing is to take a string, a bigger string. Now for I in X, for I in X, Y, I need a Y. S is equal to S plus Y, S plus I plus space. Okay, fine. Now print S. I think our, our whole code is done. Now we have to test this code on both the input. Control V, enter. Now, as you can see that our output is matching. With the required this 65A, 66B, 67C, 68D. 65A, 66B, 67C, and 68D. Let's check the same uh, same code on second output, second input. Okay, good. Here the second input, enter the digit 115, 116, 101, and 112. Control C. Control V. So this is small alphabet. So now you can see that 115 is small s, 116 is small t, and 101 is small e, and 112 is small p. Okay, fine. S T E P. I think our code is finally done. Uh, we have used chr function here to complete this particular piece of code. But if you want to uh, do, if you want to add alphabet and generate its a specific number, like if you pass s, you want 115, then you are, then you can use ORD function. ORD function. Then you uh, don't require chr function. So I hope you are able to getting it. So I think 
are, are code is done. So thank you for your patience listening. If you really like my content, then subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.